America to look more like, like Europe, where they can spread the wealth around. They want Americans to be dependent upon government, where they create division and class warfare and racial warfare and gender warfare and age warfare. They want a federal government which is already too big to be even bigger. And I say to that, no. Absolutely no. I want an America where people don't have to be dependent upon government because the free enterprise system is allowed to flourish and create real private sector jobs. I want an America where the federal government is small enough and simple enough and smart enough that we don't have to be frightened about our future. The great gift of being an American and the very essence of liberty, ladies and gentlemen, is that we have the opportunity every single morning to get up and reshape our future. As long as, long as we storm those poles, just like we did in 2010, we will set a course for a brighter future. And I need you all to help me do that. All of the candidates here tonight need you all to do that. <coughs> he who writes the checks makes the rules. And my friends, we must not sell our freedom cheaply. That's what this election is really about. And that's what the stakes are. And when you're with your family this weekend, celebrating our freedom, celebrating those who paid for it, I want you to think about that. And think about the cost. We are in a special moment in history. You know, those of us around in 1980 love to tell the younger people how exciting it was to change this country with Ronald Reagan. Well, we're going to have another chance. This election cycle, we're going to be able to tell our kids about how we changed the country and changed the state. We will win this fight because we must. Winston Churchill said one time about Americans, they will find the right solution once they've exhausted every other possibility. <laughs> Well, over the last three years and trillions of dollars in debt, crony capitalism, and ineptitude, I think we've exhausted the possibilities. Milton Friedman said one time, if the federal government took over the Sahara Desert, in three years there'd be a sand shortage. <laughs> we must put the government back in its cage. We must put the beast back in its cage, and it will not go quietly. It likes rampaging through the countryside, and career politicians like being in charge of the businesses and the regulations and the details of your personal lives. We're going to have to fight, and I'm asking you for your help. I'm one of the many candidates running for office, and I know it's a tough election cycle, but there are contribution envelopes over there. If you can help, please. Our state was that they were telling us what light bulbs to use. Now, I have to be honest, it's an outrage to my wife every time she changes one of those high-fangled new light bulbs that are supposed to last forever but don't seem to. She gets madder and madder, so light bulbs are important to me. But what else are they doing to us? They're telling us what fuel to use, what cars to drive. They're telling us what our kids will study in school. They're telling the race to the top is going to redefine what our children know. They're telling us what our businesses can do, what our energy will be. They're telling us what our health care will become. They're telling us the beginning of life, how it will start it, and they're telling us how the end of life will turn out. And then for good measure, just a few months ago, they decided to tell us what our religious institutions must believe and what they must do to act against their conscience. I don't know about you, but these are serious times. This is serious stuff. I see Perry Aiken standing there. This guy's a Marine. He fought in the war. I'm not a veteran. I've got a brother who's in Okinawa who fought in the war. These guys went over in gals and stood and and the possibility was that they die, and we'd remember them on Monday. And for what? Because they decided that they believed in America enough to put their life on the line so we could do this. Speak freely.